In Germany, Rhein Metal, a company known by many of our most loyal fans, has unveiled an icon of the future. Fuchs Evolution is the successor of the proven Fuchs 1 armored personnel carrier. Engineers remain focused on mobility, reliability, and protection. Thanks to the versatility of its basic platform, the APC can be converted into all kinds of vehicles an ambulance, an engineering vehicle, or an electronic warfare system. The 455 horsepower engine allows the vehicle to reach a top speed of 100 km per hour. The payload is 9 tons. Evolution will be supported for at least 20 years, so there will be no shortage of spare parts and maintenance options. Next up is an American product, EOTech. A company known to many shooting enthusiasts has presented this laser sight at the SHOT Show 2023. The device is the size of a deck of cards and operates on a single CR123 battery, which is enough for 9 hours. The manufacturer offers red and green lasers. The latter is more visible in daylight and bad weather, as well as a unique divergence adjustment system for the infrared illuminator. The full version is scheduled to be delivered to law enforcement and military authorities this year for $2,200. In 2024, the civilian market will receive a version with a shorter range, the price of which is not yet known. Israeli specialists also have something to show us. Their developments provide troops with new attack and maneuvering capabilities. On your screen, you're seeing a single-use drone, also known as a kamikaze drone. With a payload of 2 kilograms, the drone fits in a backpack and can be launched with one hand. It has a range of 10 kilometers or 20 minutes and a speed of up to 286 kilometers per hour. It also has the ability to track a target and hover in place. Not surprisingly, the United States is interested in this development, and the manufacturer already has a contract with the US Department of Defense. This American creation, reminiscent of a sci-fi weapon, will be perfect for fighting drones. The manufacturer has been very clever. In his opinion, this product will be useful not only for the military, but also for the police, as well as for the protection of important locations such as embassies. The operation is simple. Just aim it at a drone and block any radio frequencies. After that, it all depends on the type of drone. Some will land immediately, and others will return to the takeoff point automatically. The range is 2 kilometers, and the operating time is up to 2 hours. The development weighs about 7 kilograms, but it's easy to operate and doesn't require much knowledge. A similar system has been developed in Poland. It is called the Lancer and offers approximately the same functions. The Lancer 2.0 model is more compact than the previous version and offers a touch panel, two power modes, and four hours of work in standby mode. In addition, the creators highlight Lancer's ability to work alongside external surveillance systems, as well as on your own. However, autonomy is more modest at around one kilometer. The South Korean Redback IFV continues our selection. The Israeli Spike LR-2 missile system is used in the firing demonstration. It's a multi-purpose model, which allows attacking both vehicles, including tanks, and fortifications. For example, you can configure it so that the missile penetrates 20 centimeters of reinforced concrete, and only then it detonates. The range of fire from a ground-based missile launcher is 5.5 kilometers, and by mounting it on a helicopter, it increases to 10 kilometers. The missile's artificial intelligence allows the operator to successfully track even small targets or targets that disappear from radars. This is a prototype from Poland. It was presented in 2013 as a stealth tank. The plan was to cover the entire vehicle with a material that absorbs radio waves and to create a thermal camouflage for it as well. The Swedish CV9120T light tank was selected as the basis, and the specifications were as follows. 
a 120mm gun, compatible with NATO projectiles and able to launch guided missiles, an unmanned turret with remote control, a cross-country speed of up to 50 km per hour, and a 500 km range, with an engine power of approximately 940 horsepower. At the moment, there is almost no news about the PL-01. So many experts and media outlets believe that the project has failed. But the PL-01 could be seen in some games, such as GTA Online and Armored Warfare. This Finnish project seems to have a better future. In February this year, the development of the Nemo Container mobile mortar system was finally completed. It was first unveiled in 2017, and after years of hard work, the result is great. For starters, the system looks like a 6-meter container. Inside are 100 120mm mines and all the necessary material for autonomous operation. In other words, the Nemo system can be fired from the ground or from the deck of a ship or a truck. The system can be manned by three people and is protected by the armor of the customer's choice, including ceramic armor. The world has never seen anything like it say the creators of the system. Next up is an unmanned infantry support vehicle from South Korea. The designers are clearly interested in the US market. The novelty was presented at a US military base near Seoul. It's an electric model with a range of up to 100 kilometers and a payload of 550 kilograms. But most interesting are its internal components. As most South Korean products, this one uses state-of-the-art technologies. The brain of this vehicle is equipped with a neural network that allows it to quickly detect and track enemy soldiers, as well as respond to gunshots. The vehicle can also drive itself off-road and is suited for mum t operations involving manned and unmanned vehicles. Let's continue with the topic of Israel and drones. What do you think of this AI drone? It's called Lanius, and it's a compact and interesting UAV that can work in groups of three. The drone can find a person, as well as perform mapping, reconnaissance, and target classification tasks, even indoors. The operator only has to give general commands, and the drones will automatically avoid obstacles. The payload is 150 grams, airtime is about 7 minutes, and in order not to waste the charge, these groups of drones can be moved on larger base drones. These capabilities, according to the manufacturer, will be useful for a wide range of tasks for both military and law enforcement. Nebo-U is an airborne object detection and tracking radar from Russia. The Nebo family includes several versions, for air defense and for ground forces. The latest versions are capable of detecting targets at a distance of up to 1,800 kilometers and at altitudes up to 1,200 kilometers. The radar will spot any missile and fifth-generation aircraft, even if they're hypersonic. It's an excellent addition to the S-400 surface-to-air missile system, for example, and its large size is not a problem. There are special containers for moving the Nebo. This engineering marvel is a firearms training simulator. It resembles a video game. There are various scenarios, like locations, weather conditions, time of day, and other parameters change, and the instructors can view detailed statistics, which are processed by artificial intelligence. Almost everything is taken into account, from trigger pressure to sight position. The simulator is also suitable for group training, and its main purpose is to help instructors work as efficiently as possible. Another kamikaze drone is here to finish our selection. It was presented, among others, at the International Defense Exhibition ADEX. 
The main function of this model is to hit a small moving target in a radius of 1 km. One charge is enough for 15 minutes or 30 with additional batteries. Operation in urban environments is facilitated by the vertical takeoff. The set includes three drones, a control unit, batteries, a charger, and a backpack. All of this can be carried by a single soldier. And the best publicity is the use of this drone by the Israeli army, as well as interest from the United States. Watch an interesting movie in a few minutes without rewind? Easy. Audience tonight. The Sweet Popcorn Channel has a mega convenient format waiting just for you. Short retellings of movies, from auteur films to Hollywood blockbusters. Pick up your unlimited ticket by clicking the subscribe button.